Welcome, my name is Materius and let's do a review of Stardew Valley. I played this uh, game 50 episode long, it was a long adventure. And uh, yeah, it's an open end farming game. Uh, if you start and read nothing about it, you will have a hard time playing this game. As always, you start the game by creating a character. Mine is Menturius and I created Menti's Farm. You get to pick your favorite thing. It's my dog. And I also pick my favorite animal as a dog. And then you got tons and tons of customization options. Think about it. Because this is the character you will stick for. It's a long adventure. It's a game that sucks you totally in. And uh, yeah, if you do not like your customization, you have to start all over again, and that's not what you want. After you pick your character, you can pick your starting location, but we stayed for the game as a standard, but there are many, many more adventures. You start by saying goodbye to your grandpa and getting an envelope. 20 years later, you work for Joja. It's a world career where people get terminated, people play games, and people die, like my colleague two blocks away from me. And in that depressing moment, you think the envelope. Yes, it's my answer. And you go to Stardew Valley. And you meet your beautiful future love but hey one spoiler here you can marry this beautiful carpenter her name is Robin but hey there are many more female characters in the game and it's a game built about farming and building friendships when you arrive at a crappy farm you take the television and watch the fortune teller and weather reports all day long. Yeah, that's what this game is all about. Watching television, moving your television a little bit to the right and watch even more television. And once you watched all the television you can see, yeah, you think, let's start farming. So then the real game starts and you get out to your farm. You walk a little bit around and think by yourself where to start, where to start. It's a big area. You have plenty of opportunities. There are a lot of secrets on this uh, small part of the area. But well, you just need to start chopping things down, clear space and take a look. Hey, there's a cave. You will see many interesting things. There are a lot of Easter eggs in the game, or Easter eggs, the secrets. The developer said that even uh, so many, many, many people play this game, not every secret has been uh, found yet. And when you started your farming experience a little bit, you go exploring. And with exploring in the game, the adventures start. There are many, many uh, things you can do in the game, like uh, fishing, uh, going down a mine, or going to the desert with a bus, but you need to repair the bus first. That will cost you a lot of money. But the main goal is, is making friendship and uh, meeting the people in the, in the village of Stardew Valley. In this game you got uh, four seasons, every season has 28 days and within those 28 days you need to grow your crops. Every crop that is still uh, alive after the 28 days will be destroyed. Uh, when you uh, start in the spring you need to get special spring crops and that is for every season except the winter. You got some winter crops, but winter is the hardest season to make money. Uh, there are some special episodes with making money in the winter. Look that up on my channel. 
So the main thing will be farming, uh, farming your crops, making much, much money and uh, upgrading your farm. Visit Robin many times. She will take a lot of money of you. At the end you can uh, get chickens, get cows, goats, sheep, pigs and even the ducks. You build barns but mostly you will plant seeds and chop down a lot of trees in the process because they will destroy your farm. I just had a farm with a lot of trees and been busy multiple days clearing everything but in the end it's all worth it it's, it's very addictive this game so when you jump in this uh, make sure you get a lot of time because I spent plenty of hours in this game second thing in the game is the friendship system it, it's got uh, 28 characters in the game and you will need to know them all you will learn them all 28 to start and then you got some mysteries I haven't even met them all when you go out and find the villagers one of the funniest is Marnie who's having an affair with the, the mayor Emily my future wife yeah there are a lot of women in this game you can make them your wife but Emily she gives some strange shows you get high from them Got one special episode about a Emily and uh, yeah, she's working in the saloons. You also have wizards, cats, talking cats in this game, but the wizard is also a strange one. Yeah, he is some guy who gives you special powers, makes you talk to little creatures. And I'm not joking, it's really in the game. For the first year the main focus will be farming but also the community center. It's giving great rewards and I uh, should encourage to focus on that. You get uh, special seeds, you get uh, multiple items you can use. But the most important thing that I got so far is uh, a an, an machine that duplicates the gems that you find in the mines. It's really a great way of uh, finding out everything in this game and yeah this is uh, presented to you it was on my third day and yeah you see forest creatures that's not joking it's in the game but by following these quests you will uh, get to see a lot of the game you, uh, you can see the mine this is the only place so far I found you can really die and it will cost you a lot I died two times but it's also rewarding you get a lot of items you need to uh, grow your farm in the mine but when you succeed you will slowly grow your farm you build stuff uh, to improve it get animals and uh, yeah get money you even get some cool mask from a cat in the forest but yeah it, it, it's really a rewarding game and I would really recommend this game you do need a lot of uh, free time for this game so don't go in and play this two or three more hours it's it's way more in depth than I was expecting I would uh, rate this game an eight and a half would I'm missing a few features but the game is amazing so for me it's an eight and a half and I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, review give a thumbs up give a comment below what you think of the game if you play the game and uh, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next review